All right, we want to find some reference angles. So remember, reference angles just take an angle, whatever quadrant it's in, and they help us make a nice right triangle. We're going to do more with those here in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and look at these. So for letter A, 225 degrees. Well, I want you to picture, can you picture which quadrant that would be in? So of course, this goes to 90, then 180. So it's got to be down here, doesn't it? So let's go ahead and just sketch something in there. And I don't want you to stress about you know where exactly it's going to be at. Just, just sketch something in. Okay, that's fine. So this right here would be our theta, which is 225 degrees. Now, what reference angle would go with that? Okay, of course, right here would be the reference angle if I just went to there. And so what angle would this be right here? Why don't you think about it. how would we do that? Well, this is 180 degrees. So if I take this total, so if I do 225 minus 180, hey, I'm going to have this angle right here. And of course, in this case, it's a 45 degree angle. It's a nice one. Okay, how about this next one? What if we got a negative? So negative 330, that's going to go way over here into the first quadrant. So let's just kind of sketch that in. And uh, in fact, I'll kind of draw something there. So this went this way, right? So minus 330 degrees. Uh, draw that back in, hope it'll stay there for us. So minus 330, that's our theta, right? And of course we could label that. So our theta prime this time is going to be right here in the first quadrant. Now with positive angles in the first quadrant, of course it's the same angle, but you could get a negative like this one where you could end up with a reference angle in that first triangle. Well, can you see what angle that would be? Pretty easy, I hope. All the way around would be 360. So if we went 330, we've got 30 more degrees. And so it is a 30 degree angle would be our reference angle there if we drew our triangle. Degrees, pretty straightforward. We're pretty comfortable with those. Radians, not quite as comfortable. Let's try these two. So 3 pi fourths, 3 pi fourths. I want you to think about that. So remember, all the way over here would be pi. So 3 pi fourths is right in here. So it's something like that. So this angle theta is 3 pi fourths. Of course, this guy right here would be our reference angle. What would it be? Well, again, all the way over here is pi. And if it helps, think about degrees. Oh, 180 minus whatever this thing was would give us the angle. So we're going to do pi minus 3 pi fourths. And of course, we get pi fourths for this one. So that angle right there is pi fourths, which is the equivalent of 45 degrees, by the way. All right, last one, negative two pi thirds. Let's think about the quadrant. So we get negative, we're just rotating clockwise here. So negative two pi thirds. So we're gonna be in this quadrant over here. Let me kind of sketch something in there. So here is our theta, negative two pi thirds, and our reference angle now is going to be this little guy. So there's our reference angle. Well, how much more do we need to go? So if we went all the way pi radians, it would be this whole thing. So now we're going to do pi minus that two pi thirds. So pi minus two pi thirds. And of course, in this case, we get pi thirds. So this angle is pi thirds. That's what I would use if I set up my triangle. Okay, we're going to go and let you try a few on the next slide.